Hello everyone, this is The Pretend Critic and thank you for watching my channel. So I recently watched the movie called White Boy Rick. Was it worth watching in theater or should you just wait to stream it? Before I tell you what the movie was about, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel. So what was the movie about? It was basically about Rick, who lives in Detroit during the 1984 and became an informant for the FBI uh, to inform about the drug trafficking in Detroit. And he is 14 years old. He is played by Richie Moret. This is based on a true story. Uh, the real name is Rick Warsey Jr. And that is who is White Boy Rick. And the father is, by the way, played by Matthew McConaughey, Richard Warsey. And then all of a sudden, there was something tragic happened, and he had to turn back into now becoming the drug trafficker himself uh, at age 16. And that's when he, get, he got arrested at age 17 or 16 at that time. And so that is the premise of the movie. It's basically a cautionary tale. So what worked with the movie? It was basically Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey has played every role like this ever since like Wolf of Wall Street, uh, even the uh, Lincoln commercial. But he's good. He was good in here and he carried the movie. He was the most out he was outstanding in it. And also the newcomer, uh, again, Richie Moret. He this is his first role and he really he played it very well. And the other uh, thing that really stand out in my life was actually the production. Um, I know they didn't have a lot of uh, money in production wise, but the costume um, or the uh, attire fit the time, uh, the cars and the aesthetics. It felt like it was set in the 1984 and in the direction. And some of that script, you actually felt uh, why people were very desperate at that time and how uh, Detroit looked at that time in the 1984. It was in shambles. The uh, economy was bad. It, had, it even showed buildings that uh, was torn down and was not in use. So that worked. It made you feel. And Bell Powell uh, actually played uh, a role as well, um, playing Don uh, Worsi, the sister of... Uh, Rick Warsey, uh, their chemistry together was uh, was good. They believed that they were sisters and brothers. But what didn't work for me was actually the pacing. Um, the pacing was so slow. It made a story that was interesting boring. I mean, what's not interesting about a 14-year-old kid becoming an informant for the FBI? So if you saw the trailer... The trailer, you felt like that was going to be the story, but it was not. Again, it was more of a cautionary tale of what not to do and what uh, you should expect. But it just felt slow. Like, again, you weren't interested in the movie. You wanted to just skip and skip and skip. And hour and 51 minutes became two hours. Felt like it was that long. So the pacing, again, was bad. Uh, for me, some of the cameos were caricature. The grandpa that plays here was a caricature. So, was it stream it or watch it in the movie theater? I would rather stream it. Um, again, the performance was good in both uh, the lead. Matthew McConaughey and the newcomer uh, Richie, he he really they really played it well. Uh, it felt like you were in 1984, but because of the pacing and some of the uh, how the script played, it just felt like it wasn't worth watching it in the movie theater. Um, it was better to stream it because it is an interesting story, but again, I'm not sure if it's worth paying that ticket to even. Uh, know about this movie. What type of crime drama do you like? I like Donnie Brasco, uh, you know, like mob 
defender of the Iranian informant. Um, please leave a comment down below and tell me what you like. And like always, hit that subscribe button to support my channel. That's a wrap.